right here, being in this space right now, this space that Veronica has built for all of us, this is value. If you guys can add more value into it, by the time you're 21, you're golden. My name is Melissa Caro Jimenez. I'm 18 years old. I first heard of V-Rock through a friend and I'm excited to work further with this organization. My name is Alejandro Rincón. I've lived in East Boston my entire life. I'm Luisa Barrientos. I am 18 years old and I'm a senior in high school. And I have lived in East Boston since I was very little. Today we came in and did sort of an icebreaker activity where we got into three circles. There was an inner circle, a mid circle, and an outer circle. Donika was in the middle with a drum and she gave us specific directions for the inner circle and the outer circle. It was very interesting and fun to see the outcome of the activity. In the end, despite having started in different directions in different ways, we always ended up in the same place. She specifically emphasized the point that even though we were all going in different directions, at the end of the day we would all meet at the same place. And I think that's an important aspect to highlight because we all have different journeys, but at the, but at the end of the day, we all end up in the place that we need to be. So after Veronica's activity, Michelle led a lecture and a discussion about the importance of investment and realizing our place as youth, um, realizing the moment that we are in and being more responsible and um, more wise about our money and investments. She talked about different programs and resources that we could use to teach us about investing in stocks and marketing. We want to move to the right side of money, where 5% make only 95% of the entire market. So that's a little bit of people making a bigger part of that pie. 1% is the investor mindset. So this is where people that take a little bit of their money and they put it into the market so that the money works for them. Michelle had a like a presentation for us about many uh, programs that we could look into. She gave us uh, book recommendations. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ru Ruiz definitely will change your perspective. And then Michelle gave us a presentation about marketing and stocks and how to manage our money. She talked a lot about mentality and how important that plays into everything and how whatever you give back it will be returned to you. Affirmations inspire, motivate, and encourage us to take action and realize your goals. I don't know if you guys remember me stating to have a goal card. You don't have to be it now, but every time you state I am to yourself, you are affirming that you already are that. After that, Veronica talked to us a bit about um, entrepreneurship and how she has managed in the past uh, her money, you know, being a singer and how she has to keep account of all the money she gets and I think she was just trying to give us an idea of how we should be should be responsible and manage our money and know how to to keep track of it. Queremos que ustedes salgan de aquí con un poquito más de conocimiento de las diferentes opciones de emprendimiento. Presentation we heard more about Veronica and her organization Dancing Elotes and we learned about the importance of marketing and reaching your target audience at the appropriate time. En los medios sociales, la gente no se queda más de que si no le interesa, en los dos segundos le cambia, ¿verdad? Entonces es muy importante que los primeros segundos fuente so critical. She emphasized the point that we only have three seconds to capture our audience and those three seconds of a video or an advertisement um, need to be really important and captivating for the audience and for the consumers. And then for our last activity we did um, a little engage engaging game 
where we went around in a circle and talked about how we think East Boston can be improved and ways that we as a community think we can help each other and just do more productive things as a community. And a particular idea that I really resonated with was more youth involvement in the discussions of gentrification and what it means for our community. Your name and an opportunity that you'd like to see more here in Houston. Um, my name is Dylan and I want to I wanna be able to see uh, more kids getting jobs here. How to pay taxes, financial advice. Okay. Um, something that I want to see more of in East Boston is more youth involvement in the process of bringing in investors and people who are constructing apartments because there's no reason why there are there should be million dollar apartments in East Boston when people living in East Boston can't afford. Okay, good, good. Um, as youth, we are growing up in this community and we need to make sure that people aren't being displaced with their homes, people are being able to stay and maintain our community as a Latinx um, community. I think it's really important that we emphasize the idea that as the upcoming generation, we need to make sure that our culture is staying in East Boston, and we can't do that if people are being displaced from their homes due to gentrification, upcoming projects, um, investments that don't have to do with the community and what we need as the people. I think uh, one way which this uh, program could help us, I think, is for me personally, I think helping uh, to reach out or talk with people, being able to share your story with other people and being comfortable with it and helping um, a person like me, I guess, to be able to uh, share their story. During my time at V-Rock, I really have seen the support from Veronica, Michelle, and any other people who have been helping to empower the youth and really push us to, to continue our education and be successful in life. And they're teaching us about stuff that we may not have ever learned about in school or in our communities due to um, not having that advantage. And it's, they're talking about stuff that will, very, like, will benefit our future. Y sus experiencias nos ayudan a hacer de, este, de esta comunidad una comunidad mejor. Y la única manera que yo aprendí en estos días, en esta pandemia, es que no me puedo guardar las cosas que veo que no están bien. Tengo que hablar, tengo que decirlas. Pero hay que decirlas de una manera poderosa y yo creo que el arte tiene ese poder. Podemos conquistar, pero al mismo tiempo podemos cambiar el mundo. Parece tonto, pero con cualquier disciplina artística, Podemos ayudar a que nuestros gobiernos y a que nuestra sociedad mejore. Entonces, queremos una mejor calidad de vida no solamente para nosotros, sino para las futuras generaciones y tenemos que cuidar la madre tierra. Entonces, es importante que ustedes sepan por qué están aquí. I think this organization could help us as youth in particular um, really engage with our community because an important point that they have acknowledged throughout this entire workshop is that we are the next generation, we are upcoming, we are um, taking over East Boston and as the youth we need to be able to be engaged in these conversations that have to do with the future of East Boston. So um, making place for youth in these conversations of gentrification and more um, equity in education and more involvement in um, these types of discussions will lead to um, a greater understanding of how we as the youth can um, further improve East Boston as a city and a community. Veronica keeps stressing, you guys are the future. All the baby boomers are like dying out. Who's next? You guys right here, right now, in this very moment. 